What's up, Dykes fam? This month, we're giving away a pair of Jordans and 100 basketball phone loops. So click on the link in the description below and enter today. What's up, Dykes fam? We hope you guys are doing awesome today. Rosie Bear, how you doing, bud? <laughs> We're up and at them early this morning. It's Saturday. It means we got a lot of sports going on today. Rosie, what do you got going on? Basketball. That's right. Rosie's headed to play basketball this morning. Nikoi has a basketball game, and William has a soccer game. You ready to go kick some butt today? Tell me what you got. Just me and Daddy Dykes hanging out over here. He's our chauffeur for this cute girls basketball game. Yeehaw! You ready, sis? How's your team doing this season? Great. We're undefeated. Undefeated! <laughs> We're going to see if we can keep it undefeated today, right? I hope we can. Okay, okay. good luck, sis. Dad and the other boys are headed to Roswell's game, and then William's got a soccer game today. So, you know, it's a typical Saturday. Lots of games, lots of fun. Let's go! <laughs>
There's something I must confide I know I said that it'd be fine I know I made it look like it'd be alright But I think I learned my lesson And I'm not gonna let you out of my sight You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter When your ribs are in As you look into my eyes, nothing but a sinner. You won't get away. Okay, Nikoi, another game in the books. How did your team do? We did okay. That was prob was that the toughest team you guys have faced so far? Yeah. They were actually pretty good, huh? Yeah. Had some tall girls, some girls that could do the job. It mm. wasn't as easy as it usually is for you guys, huh? No. It was tied up most of the game. But then fourth quarter, what happened? We pulled ahead by like four. That's right. It was a good game. They played well. We'll take the W. <laughs> We're pretty sure they saran wrapped our basket the yeah. second half. And lit on Because <laughs> I think we were like one for 20 with layups. We could not <laughs> even get a layup to go in. So if good. you guys saw the score, it definitely should have been like at least 20 points more than what it showed. Elite. Right, sis? Yeah. That was crazy. Hey. But your team's undefeated. Yeah. You guys pulled it off. You played hard. So good work. Okay, uh, should we go home and see what's going on with those boys? Yeah. See if they're alive without us? Yeah. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you guys doing today? Good. Okay. It's actually nighttime now. Hey. Hey. Watch this. Watch this move on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Silly guy. William was supposed to play a soccer game today, but he didn't make it. Hey. Why is that, Willie? I have a fever. Aww. Really bad. Yeah, and he's not feeling good. <laughs> Wait, how's that, Rosie? He's feeling like this. <laughs> <laughs> what else is not feeling good? I have a really bad headache. And I have an ear infection. And I know the next one. Your mom. <laughs> so William missed his soccer game today because he's not feeling good. And uh, we're going to do a little ear treatment oh, yeah. to see if we can help alleviate some of the earache that he's feeling. Now, William actually hasn't been feeling good very much this week. He kind of had a sore throat. I and then he kind of had a runny nose. But... I mean, that was like five days ago, and then all of a sudden last night it just hit him to where he kind of got a fever, kind of had some body aches, and so I think his body's telling him he needs some rest because we've been really busy this week with lots of games and with little tykes, with Roz, and just doing lots of stuff. So it was good today that he could rest, and so his ears have been bugging him. We don't want it to go into an ear infection, so I don't know if you guys have ever done hydrogen peroxide in your ears or rubbing alcohol or something we just want to make sure that there's not an infection in there in that tube so if you ever had peroxide on a cut or something you know it bubbles if there's infection in your ears it's bubbly and it tickles so it's very uncomfortable but my kids have done it once and so they know what to expect right well ah. do you like doing it not really which ears bugging you this one okay how come bug to life Ross, well, how does it feel when you do the bubbles in your ears can't stay still unless I breathe. <laughs> unless he breathes. <laughs> it's very tickly. Get ready for the tickly. Put your head back. So it just takes a tiny bit. I have way too much, but. Then you do ear pulling like this so that it can go down. Can you see the bubbles? Mm -mm, it's just not. bubbling a little bit. Just letting some, pushing some of the um, air out of his ear. But it's actually, oh, it is bubbling a little. If there's any infection in there, this will just help wipe it out. I'm an expert at that. You're an expert because at that? It bubbles and it goes inside. That means it's opening up if you taste it in your throat. <laughs> but... Yeah, so your air tube actually drains down into your throat. Right. So if he can yeah. taste it in his throat, that's a good thing. That means his ear tube is not blocked. Can you taste and, it in your throat? Um, no? Okay. So we just wiggle it like this. It helps that tube drain and open up. And if there is fluid in there, it helps it pass through. 
And so when it bubbles in your ear and you turn over, then when it it's in your throat, but then it gets in infection right here. When you turn over and it dumps it out, then the water has an infection inside. So it brings out the it carries out the infection. Dude, oh. you're like a doctor, Dr. Dykes. Man. <laughs> I am an expert. <laughs> See that the bubbles turn white, so it is. They're it's getting something out. Might when we've done this gun. with the kids, you want to do it like once or twice a day, and once they start getting over it, you don't get that white foamy stuff anymore. Once the infection's all gone. So while William is sitting here doing his ear treatment, I want to know who he wants to win the Super Bowl tomorrow. Probably the Chiefs. You're gonna pick the Chiefs to win? Yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you, Rosie? Who do you want to I'm win? The Chiefs. <laughs> what about mom? Um, the Chiefs. That's three for the Chiefs. Tayden, who are you picking tomorrow? I'm gonna pick the Eagles. I don't know. I just I feel like the Eagles are a better overall team, so I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Even after you went to the Chiefs game last month? Yeah, I just um, I feel like the Eagles' defense is better than the Chiefs' defense, so. Um, I feel like the Eagles offense is going to do better than the Chiefs offense. So You're just mad they beat the Raiders. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Big Raiders hey. fan. Hey, Matt. My brother Matt's here for the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. Who are you picking to win tomorrow? The Eagles. Eagles? Yeah. That's three, three Dad, against two. You? What about me? Hold on. Let's find out from Nikoi first. Nikoi, who are you picking for tomorrow? The Eagles. You're picking the Eagles? No. Four, four to three. Four <laughs> three to three. and three, you mean. Oh. What about you, Dad? Okay, so that makes three for the Eagles, three for the Chiefs. I guess I'm kind of the tiebreaker, so. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Chiefs. Oh, How about yeah. the Chiefs? That's right. How about them yeah. Chiefs? Yeah, we're beating them. Hey, we got four kids. <laughs> Let's go, Chiefs. They're the best yeah. team. So we'll find out tomorrow who wins. Let's go Chiefs. And let's go Chiefs. Who here likes the Super Bowl commercials? Me. Well, me. Uh, I only like the good ones. De depends Same on how here. funny they are. Yeah. Those are the best part. And we're going to have friends and we're going to have food and it's going to be a great day. No matter who wins. Yeah. I have some food. No, if the Eagles lose, it's going to be a bad day. <laughs> <laughs>